I, I am a Bible-believing Christian. Someone asked me today in the media, they said, it's a curious, people are curious, what does Mike Johnson think about any issue under the sun? I said, well, go pick up a Bible off your shelf and read it. That's, that's my worldview. Forgive me, Dr. Jacobs. Are you an MD? A PhD. A PhD? Yes, sir. In psychology? No, sir. Theology? No. Social work? I have a PhD in English literature. I'm asking because on your show people call in for advice and you go by the name Dr. Jacobs on your show and I didn't know if maybe your listeners were confused by that and assumed you had advanced training in psychology, theology, or healthcare. I don't believe they are confused, no, sir. Good. I like your show. I like how you call homosexuality an abomination. I don't say homosexuality is an abomination, Mr. President. The Bible does. Yes, it does. Leviticus. 18.22. Chapter and verse. I wanted to ask you a couple of questions while I had you here. I'm interested in selling my youngest daughter into slavery, as sanctioned in Exodus 21.7. She's a Georgetown sophomore, speaks fluent Italian, always cleared the table when it was her turn. What would a good price for her be? While thinking about that, can I ask another my chief of staff, Leo McGarry, insists on working on the Sabbath. Exodus 35.2 clearly says he should be put to death. Am I morally obligated to kill him myself, or is it okay to call the police? Here's one that's really important, because we've got a lot of sports fans in this town. Touching the skin of a dead pig makes one unclean. Leviticus 11.7. If they promise to wear gloves, can the Washington Redskins still play football? Can Notre Dame? Can West Point? Does the whole town really have to be together to stone my brother John for planting different crops side by side? Can I burn my mother in a small family gathering for wearing garments made from two different threads? Think about those questions, would you? One last thing. While you may be mistaking this for your monthly meeting of the ignorant, tight-ass club, in this building when the president stands, nobody sits.